was the best game of the year in 2023. And it is so awesome that it can keep you entertained for 100 hours. How do humans even explore all of this? And I'm going to show you the difference between this and a free time game awards winner. All the way down to this two time champion. <laughs> Okay, in which categories did it win? Best sports racing game. Sure, that's reasonable. Also, innovation in accessibility. What? Is that even a thing? Fuck it, let's try it. And right to the racetrack I went. At the very beginning, the game kindly asks how much assistance you want in order to make your experience one to remember. And me, being a total chat, did this. So we're going maximum speed and expert rules. And a few moments later, this. This car is out of fucking control! And this. Sorry! And also this. Okay. No, 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 fuck! But despite crashing my car every 10 or so seconds, I made it my goal to get good. And guess what? I did. Oh my goodness, that was my best turn. I'm catching up, bitches. Also clean. The only mysterious thing was all the negative reviews on Steam. Damn, that's a lot of negative reviews. Was I missing something? Perhaps, but I would find out soon enough. And after playing for a while, it was pretty clear why this game won only one award. Two awards. Do I have to level every single car in order to upgrade it? Are you serious? I want to quit. Wow, I can't change anything. That sucks. The only thing I could do was to repaint my car. Nonetheless, it was time for my final challenge. And after a few more training sessions, I was ready to face the real human beings. Now in one word, the emergency. I hear shots! Okay, ma'am, calm down. What kind of shots? <laughs> there we go, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Holy shit, that was close. Keep going, keep going, finish strong. We improved. Yes, 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 yes. We finished sixth. I mean, of course, of course we did. That was a game that won in only two categories. Later in this video, I have a game that won six game of the year awards. But before all of that, here's a free time winner, Alan Wake 2, which was a little scarier than I thought it would be. Shit, oh fuck me. Okay. <laughs> Did you catch that? Let's rewind a few seconds. Look, it's a deer. This game is so fucking scary that even a goddamn deer made me jump. Anyway, in this game you get to take on the role of a detective to uncover all the mysteries of Caldron Lake. The bad guys belong to a cult that can bring the dead back to life and turn them into monsters. Sounds terrifying? Yeah. It is. After playing for a few hours, it was clear why this game had won the best game direction category, best narrative and the best art directory. The story is insanely good, I cannot even fathom how good it is, and what truly really puts this game to the next level is its narrative combined with the beautiful graphics. These two elements make you feel like you are literally there, like right there, with all the monsters and mysteries. It's scary. It's not all story and writing though, developers prepared a whole bunch of jump scares to keep you company. Oh yeah? Bring it on! You bitch. SHIT! Anyway, the game still has plenty more to offer. Solve crazy cases with cute Polaroid photos? You finally get to feel like Sherlock Holmes, but this time with monsters. On top of that, there are dozens and dozens of riddles to unravel, codes to crack, and lockers to unlock. Some of which are harder than they look. What did I do wrong? Tired of using your brain? Switch it off and turn yourself into a killing machine. Massacre cultists and monsters in revenge for all the spooks they gave you. Burn their eyes with a flashlight, or if you're feeling extra special, blast them with a freaking shotgun. Isn't that awesome? For a game that won three awards, I'm not gonna lie, I was utterly blown away. The story is incredible, the ability to play detective and pin your mini photos to solve the case is perfect, plus all the fun you get from blasting monsters with a shotgun in their faces. Can you even ask for more? Well, we're going to find out in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present you with a game considered the most marvelous gaming masterpiece of all time. Baldur's Gate 3. Technically, it is two times better than the previous game. Baldur's Gate 3 is longer than the late night text from Rex. It is literally a digital universe with 100 hours of content. And the best part about it is that you can enjoy it solo or with friends. In all the other games, we had something to enjoy. But in this game, we have everything to enjoy. It has vampires, magic, parasects, and many other things I didn't even know I wanted, all of which are for you to explore. Let's have some fun. Right off the bat, you are blown away with limitless options during character creation. Select one of the origin characters or create a new one from scratch. Multiple races, a dozen classes, and countless subclasses await you. Wanna be big and strong because your mom doesn't let you take steroids? 
Put all your ability points in strength and go with Barbarian to plow through your enemies. You've always wanted to be a little bit brighter? Max out intelligence and cast countless spells just like in Harry Potter. Or if doing only fans is your thing, go with Charisma and seduce every character in the game. What a time to be alive! After you're done with creating your hero, you'll find yourself on a ship where you were injected with the latest version of the COVID-19 vaccine. And after a short introduction to all the mechanics, you crash the ship and the true adventure begins. I decided to play with my friend. Our plan was to enjoy the lore and use as many peaceful options as possible, but then this happened. And so we murdered the entire city. Yeah, and later a bandit camp, a goblin town and basically everything that could move. It was amazing! Since my friend played as a barbarian, there had to be some lovely dialogue options like this one. <laughs> bang, bang, bang! <laughs> anyway, I'm forgetting myself. The whole thing is about fighting hentai monsters. Your crew is trying to get rid of the parasite that's been put in their brains. If you ever wanted to have a tentacle inside you, this is literally the most similar experience you can get. Look, my point here is that this game is so massive I would have to make a separate video to even grasp the basics. But the most important thing I learned playing Baldur's Gate is that choices matter. So choose to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Have a nice one. Bye bye.